Welcome back to our channel with the latest technologic news and updates. The Polestar 2, with its unmistakable connection to Volvo, shared underpinnings with the XC40, felt like a spin-off from the Swedish automaker. However, the Polestar 3 heralds a new direction, boasting a sleeker design and sitting on a brand new EV-only architecture. This model, set to be available to customers in the second half of the upcoming year, distinguishes itself by being smaller and more streamlined than the three-row Volvo EX90, which shares the same platform. Despite the competitive marketing price, with the UK starting at £79,900 for the standard version and £85,500 for the more potent performance variant, our initial impressions, gained during testing at Volvo's Hallard track near Gothenburg, are overwhelmingly positive. The 2024 Polestar 3 – Battery and Range Upon its launch, the Polestar 3 will present consumers with a choice between the regular all-wheel drive version and the slightly quicker performance pack. Both versions feature a twin-clutch torque-biasing differential for the rear motor and share the same XL 111 kWh battery pack, providing 107 kWh of usable power. Polestar aims for the WLTP range of 379 miles for the regular version and up to 360 miles for the performance model. Despite the 400-volt architecture of the CATL-supplied lithium-ion battery pack, contrasting with the 800-volt systems of competitors, the Polestar 3 supports DC fast charging at speeds up to a claimed 250 kilowatts. This allows for a rapid 10 to 80% recharging in as little as 30 minutes under optimal conditions. Choosing the performance version entails an additional £5,600 investment, bringing 22-inch alloys, more dynamic software for various active systems, and a modest performance upgrade. The performance model boasts system peaks of 517 brake horsepower and 671 foot-pounds of torque, compared to the regular 498 brake horsepower and 620 foot-pounds of torque. Polestar claims a 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration of 4.7 seconds for the performance, 0.3 seconds quicker than the regular variant, although both are limited to the same 130 miles per hour top speed. Cutting edge design. In contrast to the Polestar 2's mixed body design, combining coupe, crossover, and saloon elements, the Polestar 3 unbashedly embraces the SUV form, featuring a rear falling roofline. The design is striking, well proportioned, and benefits from the packaging advantages of the EV only SPA2 platform allowing a substantial 2,985mm wheelbase within the 4,900mm overall length. Aerodynamics play a significant role in the design, with a narrow wing element integrated into the leading edge of the bonnet to enhance airflow and achieve a sleek 0.29 coefficient of drag. The rear features a full-width light bar and a compact rear wiper, contributing to the overall aesthetic. Swedish Minimalism Inside the cabin, the Polestar 3 offers a well-finished and spacious environment, particularly for rear occupants due to the absence of a third row. While boot space is somewhat limited with a wide but shallow compartment, totaling 394 litres with the rear seats up, an additional 90-litre hidden compartment under the boot floor compensates for this. The front trunk, or frunk, adds another 32 litres, designated for charging cables. A panoramic glass roof, adorned with an etched Polestar logo, comes standard, providing a light and airy feel to the interior. Materials used in the cabin feel luxurious and match the premium price tag. An interesting detail is the decision to label the seats with the materials used – recycled vinyl, wool and leather, along with the equivalent CO2 emissions from their production. The Polestar 3 adopts a minimalist approach to physical switchgear with even the hazard light switch relocated to the roof console. A vast 14.5-inch portrait-oriented touchscreen dominates the center console, running Google's Android automotive operating system. While some functions were unavailable in the prototypes, the display appeared crisp, though there are apparent usability compromises, such as adjusting external mirrors requiring an awkward multi-step process on the touchscreen. Driving Experience while many high-end SUVs leverage smart dynamic systems to defy physics, 
The Polestar 3 stands out by not featuring active anti-roll systems or rear steering setups. Instead, it relies on a combination of air suspension, standard at launch, adaptive shock absorbers and a new rear differential to deliver both comfort and handling precision. During testing in sub-zero conditions on summer spec Pirelli P0 tyres, the Polestar 3 demonstrated high grip levels and precise steering. The smart rear differential, produced by Borgvarna, employs twin electrohydraulic clutch packs to vary torque output across the axle, providing excellent control and fighting understeer actively. Polestar 3, despite its weight of 2,670 kilograms, feels agile and responsive. Braking performance is noteworthy, with two switchable levels of regen, a one-pedal mode and a coast function complemented by substantial 15.7-inch vented Brembo discs with four pop calipers up front. Polestar 3 – Prototype Impressions In a segment crowded with high-end performance EV SUVs, the Polestar 3 appeals poised to be a strong contender. Offering a combination of design emphasis and a more mature driving experience than its predecessor, the Polestar 2. However, an intriguing challenge awaits within the Polestar family itself, as the Polestar 4, set for launch next year, promises to be a slightly smaller but significantly more affordable fully electric SUV, sitting on Geely's SEA platform. Price the pricing strategy for the Polestar 3 reflects the brand's commitment to delivering a premium electric SUV experience. With a starting price of £79,900 for the standard version and £85,500 for the performance variant in the UK, the Polestar 3 enters the market with a bold positioning that acknowledges its high-end features and advanced technology. In a market segment increasingly crowded with contenders, Polestar justifies its pricing by offering not only cutting-edge design, but also a sophisticated driving experience. The optional performance package, with its 22-inch alloys, dynamic software enhancements and modest power boost, caters to enthusiasts willing to invest an additional £5,600 for a more exhilarating performance. While the price point may seem significant, it aligns with the brand's emphasis on quality materials, innovative engineering and sustainable practices. Polestar's dedication to pushing the boundaries of electric mobility is reflected in the Polestar 3's pricing, positioning it as a premium choice for consumers who seek a blend of luxury, performance and a commitment to a greener future. As the electric vehicle market continues to evolve, the Polestar 3's pricing strategy signals not just a financial investment, but an investment in a future where sustainable and luxurious driving coexist. In conclusion, the Polestar 3 stands as a promising entrant into the competitive world of high-end electric SUVs. Its distinctive design, innovative technology and impressive driving dynamics position it as a strong contender in a rapidly evolving market. As we eagerly anticipate its arrival in the second half of the next year, the Polestar 3 appears ready to capture the attention of discerning consumers seeking a blend of style, performance and sustainability. Yet, the Polestar family doesn't rest on its laurels. With the upcoming launch of the Polestar 4, another fully electric SUV on Geely's SEA platform, the brand aims to offer a compelling alternative, slightly smaller in size, yet significantly more affordable. This internal competition within the Polestar lineup reflects the brand's commitment to providing diverse options to meet the varying preferences of electric vehicle enthusiasts. We extend our gratitude for joining us on this exploration of the Polestar 3. As the automotive industry continues its electrifying evolution, we look forward to witnessing the impact and innovations that models like the Polestar 3 bring to the forefront. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting developments in the world of electric mobility. See ya!